Tuesday at Gen Con Oh no, it's already Tuesday. It's gonna end soon. Don't start crying. Oh no. Don't start crying. So it's Tuesday at Gen Con. Uh, more hotel meetings. People are starting to set up. We've already gotten calls about people trying to set up and we oh, hadn't yeah. scheduled them to set up and that kind of stuff. And you met with True Dungeon, so they're starting. They started yesterday. Yep. Anything else? Meetings set up, training. All of our captains and stuff like that showed up today, or last night, so they have all training and all that kind of stuff today. So we're, we're heading down to the lounge yep. for some sneaky snackies. They still have some. It's still out. Yeah. We're a little bit late, but they still have stuff out. <laughs> lobby I went back up to the room did a little bit of editing and tidying up and I'm now going to meet some friends in the lobby and we're gonna go back to Lincoln Square Pancake House I think Matt, Kenda, Desmond, Swada hopefully and maybe Chandler are joining so it's gonna be good oh, you know. stuff and stuff. Yeah, no. All stuff, stuff. the whole family is back together yeah. certification so uh, everything in our, 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 our charity arcade all the proceeds go to our Hope Train Academy which uh, we have a academy upstairs what we do is uh, we provide certifications as far as uh, the tech support, Captia Plus, uh, Networking Plus, uh, Cyber Security, AI boot camps and so with those uh, industry standard certifications we try to help individuals get jobs in the uh, in the tech sector. Is it open to anybody or is it for mostly youth or you know whoever is older people? So it's basically uh, adults but we also do have youth. Uh, we have apprentices that are in high school and they're in our three-year apprenticeship so what they do is they learn the, just the fundamentals of working and then they provide we provide them with the tech skills with uh, but basically all the games are pretty much computers, yeah. so we ha help them uh, learn the basic skills of computers. Um, but as far as the adults, uh, yes, if any adults, uh, any age that's interested, or either they really want to upskill their job, or they're looking to re uh, start a new job, mm -hmm. start a new career, uh, we do have the training that we can provide for the, for the individuals. Awesome, we thank you. We do Roblox camps for the kids. No way. Um, and but for mostly yeah the adults that we do have the yeah. uh, training for. That's super cool. I appreciate you. Thank you so Thank much. You.
at breakfast Sorry. at the Lincoln Square Pancake House and now we are at the mall and I went and got some socks for Derek and I got some shirts from Hot Topic and now we are not quite sure what to do we're going to see a baseball game later today at 7 and it is right now 2 p.m. so we have a couple hours to kill but I'm here with my beds at least two of them and what, oh, are you, hello. what are you doing today? <laughs> oh, I'm what, great. Is, what is the life of a captain at Gen Con um, on a Tuesday? On a Tuesday, it's fairly light until we get to the evening. Then it's meeting, 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 and meeting. But what kind of meetings? Don't you just show up at Gen Con and tell people where the next event is? No, no, no. We have a bunch of training to go over, like how systems are going to work with the e ticketing and whatnot, some training to help us interact with our attendees training for people for the captains who are actually leads or mentors to work with our younger staff or staff with less years of experience and then we have an all hands meeting that goes over hey this is what's going on at Gen Con and then we break into our teams and have meetings about that so that takes so many hours to go through that um that's why we have to be here much earlier than most people when do you actually set up for like if you're the HQ for the Hyatt or uh, your space. Oh, um, the BIPOC lounge? When yeah. does that get set up? All of our rooms get set up pretty much to, uh, on Wednesday, the day before con. So we come in with all the equipment and that's how we start getting set up. But uh, most of our office rooms, like where we have to stage our captains, where we have to get our supplies, that stuff is already set up now. Can you tell us a little bit about your space? What, where, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, so I'm working the okay. BIPOC lounge um, and that is a space for by um, binary, I was about to say, <laughs> black indigenous people of color. It's a safe space for uh, those people to hang out. It was also where we show off the games created by BIPOC creators. My arm hurts. Oops, <laughs> I got it. It's where we show off the games. Uh, I'm over here. How about that? Um, it's where we show off the games that are created by BIPOC creators. The sponsor of the room is Rose Gauntlet. Cool set of people, already released two games, probably working on a third, it's great. We also have a social mixer, and there's a BIPOC industry event where you can, um, people who are BIPOC can go meet members of the industry who are looking for people to have jobs in their field. So maybe looking for game designers or marketing people, whatnot, to cater to the BIPOC kind of community there. Pick me, I have a question. Yes. Um, uh, can anybody go to this uh, space? Like if I am a person of color or if my viewers are people of color or is it just like for publishers and game designers? Do I need a ticket like <laughs> and, and where is it? People of color or is it just like for publishers and game designers? Do I need a ticket like <laughs> and, and where is it? You don't have to be black, indigenous, Asian, whatever to go there. You can be there as anybody, as long as you're there in the spirit of the room, which is you are there to experience games created by BIPOC people to help BIPOC people get into the gaming space and whatever have you. It is still a safe space. We don't like a lot of crowds, but as long as you're there for that, it is good. As for tickets, what? Be, be respectful of the space. Yes. This is a space that is safe for not people that look like me. This is a safe space for, for, for people. So please treat that space and everybody in it respectively. And uh, just do that in general, not just in that room. And uh, when you're in there, be kind and be gentle and uh, just friendship and be cool. But you don't need a ticket to be in that space either other than the social mixer, which is a zero cost ticketed event. Uh, so if you wanna go there, cool. Where is it? Uh, it is in the ICC room 240 and 241. What does that mean? Uh, the Indianapolis Cove. Sure, but I, I think, is it just overlooking the, the, oh. the hall or something? Oh, that's right. It's over, it's in front of the hallway on the second floor that overhangs where the big line to go into the exhibit hall is at. Yeah. Yeah. So you actually be right above the speaker. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, so it's a cool space. Desmond, uh, every year, does an incredible job. Siri. Siri, no. <laughs> Siri. Desmond does an incredible job in that space every year. And I've stepped in there a few times, and it's always been extra cool. And everybody's having the best time. 
and you should totally check it out especially if you're a person of color that wants to like connect or find a space to just chill for a while you should check it out say hi to some people and uh hang out thank you say hi to desmond because he's perfect hi <laughs>
the Indiana team was up when we walked out just now. Yeah, I think it was 5-1. Five, five, and we didn't see any touchdowns, but they did score some points. <laughs> runs. Then. Runs. Runs, not points. Well, and actually, we didn't see any home runs. No home runs. No. Just runs. Just had some. Yep. No yeah. conversions. Yeah, no Easy. out of the park home runs. So yep. This time. Yeah, we sat behind kind of where the guy hits the ball. So the ball did go over the net a lot, but not towards us, unfortunately. We were behind third base. Third base. Third base, good spot if you like butts, because a lot of players are right-handed. So when they hit the ball, you see a lot of their butts and it's great. We had fun. We left at the fifth, maybe fifth uh, inning. Bottom of the fifth bottom of the fifth we did not get to sing the little song um did they, lock the convention? they locked the doors The BIPOC mixer we had for the first year, four years ago. And, no, three years ago, actually. And it was good, and that started off, and it ran a good time, and I helped close the room, and I went to Tanya, and I went to Syrah, and I went to people, and I said, hey, um, could, if there's an event like this next year, um, could I be in charge of it? And next year, they did the BIPOC lounge, that was two years ago, and I asked to be um, the, the lead of that. And I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and ever since then, I've been having a blast there. Um, and we still have a social mixer, and everyone enjoys themselves. Um, but the thing is, like, I don't think I could have gotten there without just meeting all of you. Ran, like, random people I've met over the years um, have help me get the courage to like even do this. And it's been an honor and a pleasure to just be with you every single year. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> chipper and happy and that is freaking you out well you're just calm and relaxed am i not supposed to be no the wednesday vibe tuesday monday what day is it tuesday the tuesday vibe is not relaxed it's weird well what do i have to worry about you tell me my gmhq team will take care of gmhq and 
Kelly and JC will have their stuff taken care of. Um, Mary's not feeling well, but we'll take care of her stuff. Uh, so it'll be fine. That's so weird. That's not, it's not fine. It's never fine on a Tuesday. Tuesday. It's weird. <laughs> oh, you're tempting fate. Well, there's no point in worrying, right? What you got for dinner? Uh, well, this is second dinner, I guess, because my lunch and dinner were both Uncrustables, but now you've given me a steak and shake treat. <laughs> that sounds like a dog treat. Mm -hmm. But it's steak and shake that I didn't have to go spend, what, 45 minutes in line for? Yeah, their weight right now with like, I don't know, I guess maybe a quarter full is 45 minutes to get food or shakes. They're always really, really slow. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. They used to. Like 10 years ago, they weren't that slow. Anyway. Yeah, that was 10 years ago. The time is 11.20. And I'm going to edit this video. And I hope uh, I got some footage for y'all. And then we're going to go to sleep. Bye. Uh. <sighs> Tomorrow, we are meeting the crew downstairs in the lobby at nine to get padded chow for breakfast Hi. oh and then usual tradition oh usual tra tra transition transition what tradition is that we go to the farmer's market and then rocket biz and the comic book store that's so why i think it comic book issues yeah i don't know if i can go back that far <laughs> But we're gonna go do that tomorrow and then do like we'll call and stuff. It's very easy to remember, Nelly. You ready? Mm hmm. We want issue 700 of the X Men. Okay? Mm. And we want the gay wedding issue of the X Men. Does that one have a number? Uh, no, it's like the wedding special from like this. But year. you sent me the pictures? Mm hmm. Okay, so we have a mission. If you tell the comic book people, they will probably know what you're talking about. I don't know. I feel like every time I don't go into a comic book store, they're DC people. Yeah, well, also these issues are, like, really thick. So they're not, like, thick. just... What? Hmm? Thick. What was that? Thick. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're not, uh, like, normal, like, 26 whatever pages or whatever. They're, like, 60 pages. Wow. So thick, boy. Mm-hmm. Baseball was fun. The Indians you, you were, were up 5-1 by the time we left. It was very hot and sweaty. All right. Anything else to add? No. It's your girl, Nelly. Remember to like and subscribe and support her. Good night. Good night.